Turning now to Florida, where a rare hurricane for this time of the year is approaching as a Category 1 hurricane. Not again, since many residents are still trying to recover from Hurricane Ian. Josh Einiger has more. Tonight, as Hurricane Nicole inched closer to the Florida coast, massive waves lashed the delicate shoreline, already battered by Hurricane Ian. This rare November storm has millions of Floridians in its path. Officials warning families in low-lying areas to evacuate before it's too late. This is not the time to wait around and see, you know, what happens. By doing so, you're putting yourself at risk and your family's life at risk. In Daytona Beach, the powerful surge already obliterated a seawall, jeopardizing home after home. It's going to be pretty catastrophic for anyone that owns a property in this stretch and really on the beach at all in Volusia County. But in the saturated sunshine state, some of the worst effects may be inland, far from the beach, as ABC's Rob Marciano explains. Look at the white caps and wave action here on the Indian River. This isn't even the ocean, and this isn't even high tide. This seawall is taking a Feeding. Those houses in jeopardy. This road certainly going to be flooded tonight. In St. John's County, they sought shelter and sandbags. We got a motorhome, so we're out. And as some families cleared out, Nicole steadily crept in. The angry ocean eroding countless miles of sand and endangering anything built on top. In Wilbur by the Sea, homes teetered on the edge as the water swallowed up porches, decks, and walkways. And on Lake Worth Beach, fierce waves toppled this lifeguard tower tossing it around like a toy. Nicole made its first landfall this afternoon as a Category 1 hurricane in the Bahamas, inundating streets with up to four feet of storm surge. And back here in Florida, theme parks and airports are closed ahead of Nicole's arrival and hundreds of flights have been canceled. Josh Einiger, ABC News, Jensen Beach, Florida. KITV4 Chief Meteorologist Pete Caggiano has a new hurricane track just released moments ago. And Pete, the storm is just hours away from Florida, right? That's right. It is approaching yet again. We have another storm threatening Florida. You can see those rain bands moving in the outer bands of the eye only. 30 miles away. Here's the latest track for Nicole should make landfall in the next few hours as a category one storm coming up. We're going to track our weather as we head across the islands. We've got some big surf on the way. We'll have details on that and some lighter winds in the extended forecast coming up after the break.